Welcome back to Homemade Music, the online music making session you can share at home with your children during and after lockdown. This is the last one in the current series. You can revisit them whenever you want, they'll all be available online. These sessions embrace free music, found sounds and music making for non-musicians and musicians. So don't worry about how much or how little experience you've had with music making. There are no mistakes, just a whole world of sound to explore. And today, hey, it's story time. This time around, we're going to be accompanying a story with noise and music. Preparation. Collect together lots of sound-making devices, maybe kitchen implements, maybe any percussion or other instruments you have around at home. Have a picture book story to hand, which introduces a sequence of different characters, page by page, like Handa's Surprise or Mr Gumpy's Outing. OK, now let's get into the story zone. We're going to try creating a soundscape first. Let's call this one Down on the Farm. Get everyone to talk about farmyard sounds. Not just the animals, sheep, chicken, cows, humans, but also mechanical noises, tractors, clanking milk churns, silage, maybe weather noises, birdsong, church bells. Ask each person to choose a sound and then add their sound to the soundscape using their voice and repeating it from time to time so that a sonic picture of a farmyard is created and sustained by the group. After a while, maybe they can add another sound so that they are making two different sounds on repeat. How often can you repeat your sound before it dominates too much? And how fast or slow can the whole group make their repetitive sounds before it stops sounding like a farmyard? Now try the soundscape again, but ask everyone to choose a sound-making device or instrument to play and replace their vocal sounds with instrumental sounds. Great if they can still sound like chickens or tractors or church bells while they're playing saucepan lids. If it's all going well, people can bring back their vocal sounds into the soundscape too. OK, this is the musical storytelling bit. So we're going to soundtrack and underscore a story. Have a look at the book you've chosen. I'm choosing Hand a Surprise by Eileen Brown. Explain that you're all going to do a musical version of this story together and then read the story. Either read it to the group or if you're all readers, let everyone take turns at reading a page. Make sure that everyone can see the pictures. Now, let's fit some sounds and music into the story. At the start, Handa put seven delicious fruits in a basket to take to her friend Ayeko. Try different sounds for the different fruits, with each person making a sound for one or two of the fruits. Handa is going for a long walk, right up until the end of the story, so maybe everybody could be part of a little Handa walking soundscape. Practice the walking soundscape. As Handa walks, carrying the basket on her head, various creatures come one at a time to steal her fruits. Monkey, ostrich, zebra, elephant, giraffe, antelope and parrot. Decide who is going to make the sounds and music of each animal and listen to them play that sound or music. Probably people will need to make the music for two different animals. And then there's a goat as well, who charges the tangerine tree so that the fruits cascade down into Handa's basket. Go round the group, making sure everyone can remember the sounds that each of them make for their animals. Then try putting it all together a little, so that the animal sounds and music are played by individuals over the soundscape, the Handa walking soundscape, that everyone else is playing. You'll all need to make the sounds for the Tangerine Cascade and maybe everyone sings a song together when Handa reaches her friend Ayeko's village. Just sing their names, you know, Handa, 
I echo. And maybe add in your names too. I don't know your names, but I'm sure you do. Maybe this session ends with you reading the whole story and showing the pictures while everyone plays along. Maybe you'll want to save the complete version for another day. A couple of variations. For the stories, well, here's a list of picture books that will work well for other musical story sessions. But you probably know others too, so try them as well. Variations for soundscapes? Well, try creating soundscapes for other locations like supermarket or seaside, airport or station, zoo or forest. And that's Homemade Music Part 4 and the end of our first series. Thanks for joining in. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think about these sessions. It would be so good to hear some funny stories about how they've been going or some great new ideas or ways of developing the music. Why not tweet us a video or audio recording of some of your homemade music? Email us at info at ocmevents.org with the subject heading homemade music or tweet us at OCM Events, hashtag homemade music. Bye for now. <laughs>